world champion. And Chris, she has won seven professional titles. She's a very consistent skater, and she takes these competitions very seriously. And she makes a lot of moves look easy. Oh, we're having a heat fight, a tropical heat wave. The temperature's rising, it's surprising, it's certainly can't. The opening jump that she has planned in this routine is a triple toe loop, uh, the most difficult of the triple jumps, and of any of the competitors here, very nicely done. And another triple, triple Sal Cal. She does make everything look easy. She's uh, very well trained and obviously takes this very seriously. She's proud of her trademark as being most competitive, and why not? Winner's share here in this World Challenge of Champions is $40,000. 20 for second, 12 for third, and 8 for fourth. definitely is another one of her trademarks. This is her Beelman spin that she's very famous for, pulling her leg over her head. It's an incredible position. Now she uses the ice very well. She covers the surface and keeps the choreography going and doing a lot of technically very difficult jumps. Denise Bielman, Switzerland, fourth in the 1980 Olympic Games at Lake Placid, world champion in 1981. And now as a look at her triple sal cow, taking off from that back edge and turning three revolutions. Very nice, smooth landing very much in control. Now the mark's a 10, technically, Peggy. Well, you can see that the judges are still looking for those triple jumps. That makes a big difference in no, skating, no, even no. professional skating. And now the artistic impression, a 9, 9, and a 10. I, I, I don't understand that mark. Um, artistically, I didn't think she, her choreography was that interesting. And I think in that department, Rosalind still had her beat. And it was a German judge, Idrich Zeller, that gave her the 10s. But remember, highs and lows are thrown out to determine the total score for a skater. So a 10 and the 9, 7 are thrown out. The total for Denise Bielman, 98.8, taking the lead over Ros 